Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. What is going to be a Friday fragrance review day? As you know, we picked out a fragrance last week from Juicy Couture, and this is the fragrance that we picked out was Viva La Juicy. This is the 3.4 ounce full bottle of it. And here is the packaging. So this is adorable, guys. This is what I use the entire week. So as you can see, it was completely full. Yes, I did go in a little bit this week because I did spray it on my hair and on my clothes. So I used a lot more of this than I probably should have because I sprayed it all over myself. And I loved it. And this one is actually a really popular fragrance this week too. A lot of people really liked it. I got like six or seven compliments on it this week. So it is definitely a fragrance that will get you the compliments if that's what you're looking for. This is the one for you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the notes of this fragrance right now while we have the bottle so beautifully um, right here. Beautiful in the per in the video guys. It will be staying right here so we can focus on the gem. Okay. So the top notes for this fragrance are mandarin, orange, wild berries. Middle notes are honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. Base notes are amber, caramel, praline, sandalwood, and vanilla. So this fragrance has definitely got a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, it's a really beautiful fragrance, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Um, I also have the knockoff of it. It's called, the knockoff is La Vida Loca. So... That's what this one is, or that's what the knockoff is for this, but this is the Little Juicy. This is the authentic one. Best fragrance, or, sorry guys, I'm tired. Let me just stop here. Okay, so the best seasons for this fragrance are going to be fall, spring, and summer. And I got that information off Fragrantica. So if you guys want to know anything about fragrances that you have, but you're not sure about everything, check out Fragrantica.com. It's going to be your best friend to let you know anything that you want to know about your fragrances. Um, so, um, fragrance lasting hours, actually, in my opinion, this fragrance is actually pretty good. It lasts about five hours before you would have to reapply it. And I would have this fragrance on for like three to four hours and I wouldn't be able to smell it anymore. But I got so many compliments from people saying, oh, I love your fragrance. What is that fragrance you're, you're wearing? And so I would tell them what it is. So even if you can't smell it on you, I'm sure other people will definitely still smell it. Because if you can't smell it and other people can smell it and you're still getting compliments on it, so this is a good one. <laughs> this is a really good fragrance, guys. Um, fragrance projection is actually pretty good. Um, I would say it's probably between the range of light to moderate. You could probably smell it if you're like three feet away from somebody and you walk by them. It'll leave a nice scent trail, especially if you spray it in your hair. It'll definitely help out. And on your clothes. Um, so definitely it will leave like a three foot scent trail behind you. So if you walk by somebody, they will smell it. And you will get complimented on it as I did this week with this. Best time to wear this fragrance. This fragrance is so good. I think you could rock this anytime that you want. Daytime, nighttime. I don't really think there's any rhyme or reason for this particular fragrance. Um, I know a lot of people, on Fragrantica it says that it's best suited for daytime. Okay, that's what I put on my card. But actually, this one is good enough to be rocked daytime or nighttime. So if you're going to dinner or out to the movies or something and you want to smell sexy or pretty, um, and youthful, even though I'm 40 years old, I still love this fragrance. I will continue to use it. This is a good one for pretty much every day. Anytime, I think, um, if you want to just go to the store, you can slap this on. It's a really good fragrance. Um, it's one of those ones that it's, I would wear this anytime I'm in the mood for this. Like, if I don't know what I want to wear, I would probably go to this one because this one's a really nice fragrance. Fragrance conclusion for this this conclusion for this fragrance for this week is going to be, um, as far as the packaging is concerned, 10 out of 10. We all know what this bottle is, guys. If you see it in everybody's collection, you know what this one is straight off the bat just by visual alone. So 10 out of 10 for the packaging for it. 10 out of 10, I think, too, for the performance and projection and for the compliments that I got of it this week. So 10 out of 10 for everything, A plus all the way. Love this fragrance. Happy to have it in my collection. And I will continue to use this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably use my dupe before I get back into this bad boy. So, But yeah, I'm really happy to have this fragrance um, in my collection. So now we are going to go ahead and do the next fragrance pick. And I will have my co-star help me out here in just a second. Vanessa! Yeah. I need your help. 
Gotta have my co-star to do out the next fragrance, guys. But I hope you guys had a really good week. This is going to be the last Friday before Halloween. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. Stay safe out there. Um, make sure you check your candy so you guys don't get sick or anything like that. Always check your candy. Always let your parents check your candy. Okay. Ready, Vanessa? Here, come on. So here are the cards that we have here. What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Something in like this. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know what it's called, but it was in the air. Oh, a hair? Was it like a frizzy in the hair or in the air? That's what it looked like. Yeah, okay. All right. Big my bad. I don't know. All right, Miss Frizzy, go ahead. Pick out the card. You can only pick one. Just one. I almost dropped two. That's okay. It happens a lot. What's the next week fragrance we're going to do next week? I think we've done too many Bath and Body Works ones. Yeah, well, whatever it is, that it is. I'm sure it's a Bath and Body Works one you have in your hand. What is it? Sunset Glow. All right. Another Bath and Body Works inspired fragrance, guys. This is actually a Bath and Body Works fragrance by it's Sunset Glow. So we will be starting that next week on Monday, which will be November the 1st, because <laughs> Sunday is Halloween. All right, guys, so this is going to be the fragrance that rocks the start of November of 2021. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for next week and all my thoughts and my feelings on this fragrance. I will see you guys later. Bye.